Professor Manuela, it's been far too long since we've had a proper chat. Let's fix that right now. Too true, Dorothea. We hardly have a moment to spare here. But it's so nice to see you flourishing. It certainly brings back memories. You know, somehow you've gotten even prettier. The years have been kind to you. <laughs> That's something like a rose telling a daisy it's pretty, but I appreciate the compliment all the same. <laughs> Oh, honey, if that's the case, I hope you'll work hard to never become a rose like me. Too many thorns. Oh, stop it. You've accomplished a great deal. You should be proud. That's a very nice sentiment, and I appreciate it. Thank you. So, I've been dying to know, how did you come to be enrolled here? I know you didn't have any family connections. How'd you do it? Well... It did require pulling some noble strings. But learning everything to pass the entrance exams? That was all me, and very hard. Especially while I was still singing for the opera. But I wanted the Academy more than anything else. Well, bravo, and well done. You've always had to find your own way in life, haven't you? I so wish you could rely on people more often. Still, though, you haven't said why you worked so hard to get into Garrig Mach to begin with. Isn't it obvious? Because you were here. When you retired, it broke my heart. But it also woke me up. Seeing someone like you, who shined so brightly on the stage, give it all up and start a brand new life. It got me thinking about my own future, and what I wanted it to look like. As ever, I followed your lead. Oh, uh, oh my. I... Oh, I don't know what to say. I had also heard that the heirs to the Alliance, Empire, and the Kingdom were all enrolling this year. With such an exceptional crop of potential spouses, <laughs> how could I go anywhere else? And have you gotten what you are after? Your dreams, a future, and a good partner? I'm sure I'll find my somebody someday, but I haven't found them yet. Ah, it's so nice to spend time with you again, Manuela. It's been too long. Oh, my head is pounding. You'd think I'd get used to this. Oh. Manuela? Oh my goodness, you look terrible. Don't get up, I'll get you some water. I should fluff up those pillows for you. It will make you more comfortable. Oh, I'm completely hopeless. I was so proud of being the reason you came to Garrig Mach. Dorothea wanted to follow in my footsteps. How great is that? I thought I'd use that as an inspiration to straighten myself out. Be less of a, you know, less of a disgrace. But here I am, right in front of you, dealing with the worst hangover I've had in weeks. You thought you'd hide this from me? <laughs> Wait, you mean, you knew? Even when you were still with the opera company, you had quite the reputation. There was a joke that you could outdrink a fish and the sailor who caught it. Dorothea, my brain's pounding as it is. Please, stop. It's all true. But I can't handle hearing it from you, the girl I thought I had inspired to greatness. I can't believe I tried so hard to be a good example for you when you knew all along I should leap into the ocean and drown. Don't say that. You've not lost a bit of respect from me, not one bit. Everyone has their faults, and some have more than others, but... You were the finest songstress the opera had ever seen. And you've taught me well. What I mean to say is, you're my inspiration. I really do admire you. Thank you, Dorothea. That means a lot. Dorothea? You look as if something's terribly wrong. I do? Oh, nothing's wrong. Not really. I just... I've just been thinking about the future. And what happens when the war is over. Oh, 
<laughs> and tell me, what is your vision of the future like? Well, I'm not entirely sure. I guess I don't know what to expect. In my life, I've met all sorts of people who've lived lots of different ways. So now I'm trying to figure out how I want to live. I'm free, unlike so many people. I have the ability to take control of my own fate. Like you. <laughs> well... I quit the opera to join the Officers Academy as a professor. Then I joined this war because... Well, I don't know. I'm hoping for an end to it. Peace for the world. Even though I took control of my own fate, I still haven't found the man of my dreams. <laughs> You'll find him. He's out there somewhere. You know, there is one thing I want for the future. So, you've got a dream after all. Well, it's a dream I've always had. You'll think this is silly, but... I'd like to stand beside you. I don't get it. When you left the opera company, I took your place. I stood center stage and sang, and everyone cheered for me. I wish the cheers were for me and you. I wish we stood on that stage together. I have to tell you something. The first time I saw you on stage, I felt you were the one I wanted to hear sing. I already had plans to leave the opera company, but when I met you, I knew I couldn't leave until I saw you take your rightful place. You're right, though. It would have been nice to stand beside you on stage, even just once. Maybe we weren't together then, but we're together here, now. And in the future, maybe it won't be so bad if you never find that man of your dreams. What do you mean by that? You and me. I won't find a guy either. We can just be together. I, I think that'd be pretty nice, don't you? Living together and doing whatever we want. Huh. You know, that could be nice. It'd be like you and me, finally together on stage. The lights shining down, our gowns and jewels sparkling. Just us. Sparkling in the stage lights forever.